Hi, I'm Brody, and today I'll be reviewing the Iron Man Hall of Armor set. First, gonna go over uh, the figures. Okay. First figure, I guess, an Outrider. None of those things, and. Well, this really isn't an accurate endgame set. Sorry, those are my dogs stretching at the door. This really isn't an accurate. A a accurate. Accurate end. Oh, I can't speak today. Accurate end game set. <laughs> because in end game, they don't have the Hall of Armor. It's a golden net right here. He has uh, six arms. Pretty cool. You also get another Outrider. Pretty cool also. Get. I forgot what these things were called. <laughs> fire extinguisher to like blow out this fire. Fire out there. I'm gonna... I can't reach it. Okay, okay. Here is the... Uh, Mark 38 Eager... Eager? Igor. And this figure... Well, it's more, not really a figure. It's a build. Is bad. So... Like... It's... 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 Okay. It's... It's... Like... Okay, but it's... The... The thing that's bad about it is it's bad looking. The rest of the, the build in my case is okay, but this this is bad looking. I've seen a lot of people mod this particular thing to make it look better. This opens up. You can put a figure in it. It doesn't really work too well. Figure in it. There's the, the like back of it. It's fully poseable. It's arms. It's fingers. The, even its toes move. Uh little bit, I guess. You can move the arms, the legs, and... Let's kick stand up for a second. If you get uh, a figure, let's just say I'll get the Iron Man Mark 50 suit from the set, which I don't really use the Mark 50 in the movie. If I put it in here, it doesn't really look right how you put it in there. But that's just how LEGO designed it. <laughs> look. It doesn't, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to put it in, but it doesn't look correct. <laughs> I don't know. Something about it doesn't look correct. Oh, no, broke it. Wait two seconds. Sorry, this is really weird. There's no fan on here. Okay, next figure, Mark 50. On focus camera. Uh, that's kind of the best it's gonna focus. It says gold like printing on it. It's cool. Not the same one as the one in the Avengers HQ. So HQ uh, headquarters. Get out of here. Plus, are these puzzle arms on this? Yeah. Other one moves in like the same way, it just looks a little different. And then, um, the, okay. Also, the thing that moves. Oops. The thing that moves, you can take that off. And this. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, actually, never mind, I'll show you that in, in, later. Okay, another thing in the set. It comes with like fire pieces so that you can place them around and. Whatever this thing was called, forgot it. We'll put it out. Okay, and now I'm gonna spread it out like this so you can see it more. Okay, uh, okay. Then we have the Mark 48 right there, and the yes, you can remove these. I just don't want to, cause it's really annoying to put back on. It falls apart. We have Mark 5. And Mark 1. These are all cool figures that they haven't done before. And then they also have this jetpack. Remove that piece, that piece, and that piece, and you can put it on a figure. It's supposed to go on the Mark 1. Okay. Over here, we have this little red blaster thing. We have, uh, I don't remember what that was called. The, like, laser part. Then we have this, like, water machine. What were they called? I don't even remember. Ladders right here. 
weird satellite dish that fires stuff out, which is actually looks like what was in the Avengers issue set, but just like blue. Then here's some weird stuff: a wrench and uh, Tony Stark's hair on this. Yeah, really odd. This has these I forgot to mention. All have clear heads. You see through. Ooh. See, I told you guys I was gonna do that. Tony Stark. I already think I already showed that in the Avengers HQ. Yes, that which is like him. Focus camera. Focus. No, oh, won't focus. And then. Uh, I'm not gonna put the hair on because I don't want to. Okay. Then. Let's look at the the back. Sadly, these aren't uh, printed pieces. They're just stickers. These right here, I don't even remember if they're stickers. Um, those are stickers. Again, kind of sad. Then we, ha we have the Mark V suitcase, which was the figure right here. The Mark, I forgot what it was called. I think it was like 25, which is Striker, which I wish they made a Striker in the set. Because they have one spot open. And I really wish they had made a Striker figure, because that would be a really cool like design and I think Lego could pull it off really well. Then we have House Party Protocol. Status standby and it shows like a ton of suits. I'm not gonna name all those and then I know you can like do this and like transform it and like pick it up, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna transform it in the other way where you do this and also this the little desk thing is removable. Actually all of these uh, things are removable. When you, if you do that, it turns into, like, I don't even know. <laughs> well, I guess that was the end of the video. A really random and kind of quick video. Really only seven minutes long. Look at my face. I'm dressed nicely, not just because I'm doing this video. Dress nicely because we're gonna go to the 4th of July party. Again, yeah, forgot to say. Did I say this? I don't even remember. Fourth, uh, happy 4th of July and hope you have a great time. And if you're not American, just have a good day, I guess. Uh, bye.